This weekend, Vasily Lomachenko uh, is fighting Luke Campbell, and it seems like as good a time as any to talk about Lomachenko's almost magical footwork. A lot of my viewers are MMA fans, so they might think of a counterfighter as someone who backpedals around the ring and doesn't actually do anything if the opponent doesn't lunge right at them. Lomachenko is a marvellous example of how to apply aggression in order to get on the counter. Here against Kroller, Lomachenko pressured Kroller onto the ropes with jabs and feints, but was always ready to drop away and counter. Notice that each time Lomachenko retreats, he drops off to his left side. This slight change of angle makes him trickier to follow and can present the open side counter, that left hand shooting over the top of the opponent's right if they reach for him. That open side counter is obviously the favourite of Conor McGregor, uh, Tenshin Nasakawa, uh, but Crawler wasn't giving up. The other thing about retreating to the left side like that is that if you're a southpaw, most opponents are going to try to slide down the outside of your lead foot uh, to acquire a dominant angle at some point. Retreating to the left as the opponent tries to slide down to your right creates more space and makes this angle difficult to acquire. If Lomachenko does retreat on a straight line, it's usually because he's trying to set up his check hook over the top of the opponent. Returning to the idea of stepping down the outside of the lead foot, here's something that makes me rewind and exclaim bugger me sideways. The least effective ways to deal with the opponent getting outside of your lead foot are to cover up or try and pivot around that lead foot to face them, because you're giving them time to get off free blows. Moving away from the opponent and resetting is usually a better response. Lobachenko actually goes on the offensive by getting his lead foot back outside of the opponent's lead foot as he turns. It looks like nothing, but notice how both feet are having to hop to get him into position to do this. This is something you almost never see. Who knows, maybe it's all that Ukrainian folk dance we're always told about. Going forward to force counters has two great advantages over just waiting to counter. Firstly, you can tire the opponent out with the pressure you're applying. Secondly, if you're countering well, the opponent is likely to stop lashing out and sit still while you fire some of your own strikes. Whenever Lomachenko fainted at Crawler a few times and met no resistance, he'd simply step in and try to crack Crawler with a few legitimate punches before he could catch up. I wouldn't even call this a filthy casuals guide to Lomachenko because he does a ton of other entertaining things, but if you're an MMA fan and you're not watching him, you probably should be.